to do is I want to go ahead and go through some of your tasks. What do you? It was the by that come that has a new name now. Oh, that's right. Okay. So one of the things that I always do. There's the new name. I always bring up the website as I'm looking at these. So let's look at our tasks. All right, so here we have tasks listed. Right here, one, search for the wanted product. We'll go through this, the, the sub numbers in a minute. Task two, preliminary selection. Task three, research. Task four, final selection and purchase. Task five, follow up. And you'll see that he that, that this group even started off with some of the steps. Right? Locate the appropriate product selection, browse and scroll through the list of entities. Is there anyone in particular that you would like me to start with? Because we probably won't have time to go through all of them. Um. Or I can start with the first one. Yeah. All right. So I'm actually going to take this, and I'm just going to put some lines here so I have room to type. All right, so search for the wanted product. One, locate the appropriate product selection. Two, browse slash scroll through the list of entities. Now, here's what I want you to think about. Now, keeping in mind that I did tell you just come up with a task. You don't have to worry about the wording but by today. If you gave this exact wording to a user, what do you think they would do? Yeah, they'd be like, what? Like, okay. What are some things they may ask you? Which product? Yeah, what do you want me to search for? Yeah, but uh, since we haven't decided uh, specifics, uh, I was just trying to keep it general. Oh, no, th yeah, this, is this is actually more than I had. This is, uh, this is more than I had asked you to turn in. Right. So I don't mean it as a criticism in any way. Right. I was thinking at the time of uh, testing, we would actually choose a product, perhaps like a budget or. Oh, except you can't wait till, until right, I mean, you're actually doing the testing based on what I we mean, talked about today. All right, so one of the first things I would do is, okay, now we need to decide what we're going to search for, right? I would actually do a test run. Because remember, it does need to be more than one or two steps. It can't be that simple. So. You're going to this website. What, what is something you might look for? Laptop. Laptop. So there's a couple of ways to, to, to do that. You can go to computers and office, right? You can go to, oops, you can go to notebooks. They don't list laptop except in the heading. Or I could have typed it in into the search. All right, now what? Think I need more details? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead over here and take notes. So we are going to look for, let me just sample some. Let me just close some of these things. So I don't have to keep looking at them to try to figure out which is the right document. Oops. And that's from a previous semester, which I'll show you afterwards if you'd like. So here, we're going to look for a laptop. Well, we already know that it needs to have more information. All right, so we go back here. I'm in the laptops. What, what else would I be thinking about? Price range. Price range. Right, so if I go back here. So price range, what else? Brand, or sorry, brand, make slash model. What else? What are some other options? Processor, hard drive, oops, hard drive. Why did we put that under research, under viewing steps? Well, because we are not asking them to do the research yet. Right now what we're doing is we're trying to decide what do we want them to search for. 
we're doing something like research, in that case it would be better to do something like, okay, you have this particular piece of equipment, let's say you have this, you know, this printer and you need to buy ink cartridges for it. How would you find out what you need to buy? That would actually be a better task for research. Now the reason for that, even though doing research on what laptop to buy is something that people would do, for the purposes of this class, that's, I would say, on the too complex side. Unless you're going to just pick one element. But that's a great question. Okay, anything else? Screen size. Screen size. What about memory? Memory. Wait. All right, so we have a whole bunch of stuff, right? Now we could just make up some numbers. What would be the problem with just making up some numbers and creating our task? Oh, no, maybe there's no result. Maybe there's no result. Or maybe there's too many results. Because remember, you want this to be very, very uniform for your participants. So you need to actually come up with what you want to look for and make sure it exists. Now, instead of making things up, what I actually suggest, find a product already on the website and pull their specs instead of sitting there and trying to guess. Make your life much easier. And then do it, you know, go ahead and do a search using those to make sure that they actually are going to find the one that you are looking for. Make sense? So if we go back to buy.com, let's see. Now let's just randomly grab one here. Okay, look at some of the specs. And I'm assuming you're going to be looking for regular participants, not IT right. yeah. experts. That's another thing to think about in terms of what they would look for. So chances are someone who is not an IT person is not going to say, I want an Intel uh, core i3, i3-32-3120M, so on and so forth. You need to put it in words that they're going to understand. All right, so they want a, or at least they will almost, they will almost understand. A super fast computer. A super fast computer. Yeah, that'd be nice. It won't quite work, if it's not specific enough. All right, so here at this point, I'm going to put a line here. So at this point, we've decided we want them to find the Acer. You can choose another one, by the way. I'm just grabbing this for class. Acer, TravelMate, 15.6 inch notebook. It's a 2.5 gigahertz for gigabytes RAM and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Oops. So that looks pretty good so far. What do you think? Now we need to test it. I'm going to test it really, really easily. Boy, going between a Mac and a PC is sometimes a pain in the neck. Ah, sorry. So let's see if I do a quick search. What is that going to give me? <laughs> well, while we're waiting. <laughs> Oh, hmm. Well, you know, I said it had to be more than one or two steps, right? If this is the information that you gave them, let's see if they can move forward. All right, so I'm looking at this. Hmm, look at these results. Most people are probably going to click on the first one, right? They're not probably not going to know what's the 2.5. They're probably just going to say, oh, tra Acel Travermate 15.6 notebook. Oh, okay. 
Okay, we got two of them. Boy, they're very close in price. Okay, at this point, you can either <laughs> have them just trying to find two, or you can tell them, you know, you have, you're looking for something that is at least $600. In which case, they'll select this one. Unless they look at this price down here. But anyway, so you can also, in that case, you can also add to it. Hold on. Hard drive. Now, you're not going to write it exactly this way. 600 plus dollars. Right, so that is what you want them to find. Now, keeping in mind there are a couple of different, different avenues that they can take. They can go ahead and type this stuff in in the search. Right, it's a lot to type in because they have a piece of paper. They're not going to be able to copy and paste. They can go through and probably look by, you know, model, by um, manufacturer, so on and so forth. So now we know what we want them to look for. All right, now we go to the next step. Now we need to figure out how do we word this task. Now what do you remember about the, the quick example that I showed you? You don't give them as, uh, leading questions or specifics. You just go and find a laptop uh, that has these characteristics and then you just go and do it. Right, so you don't want to be leading. You don't want to tell them where on the website to go. You don't want to tell them, okay, you want to put this in the search box. You don't tell them, you, I want you to you know, click on this on the menu. So why don't, why don't you give me, and I will tell you that this is always multiple iterations you're going to go through. I've done this bazillions of times, and I still go through multiple iterations. So let's, what's some initial wording? Who wants to come up with some initial wording? Just for the first one, throw it out there. Remember what we just said and the user's goal. Why would you want to look for a new laptop? Because you want to buy one. OK, we'll start there. You just are desperate. <laughs> are desperate for a new laptop. Okay. Sorry? And don't have enough money for an Apple. Although I really like that. You don't want to be overly dramatic. It makes it a lot more fun to be overly dramatic. That's actually a very good idea. So we'll change to, you are desperate for a new laptop, even though we feel that way often. Right, to, you have, okay, okay or you, either you have decided you need a new laptop or your laptop died. Your little brother sat on it, ran over it with his bicycle. Whatever's fun and interesting. We'll just use decided at this point that you need a new laptop. Now, tell me what you said again. Um, presenting like, the features, like saying you want to, you're looking for a laptop that's like, has a big enough screen to watch a movie in like a 15 point um, And fast enough, um, or maybe has, um, has enough memory to store all the movies you want to see, so it has 500 gigabytes in a hard drive. Yeah, I can't type quite that fast. Okay, you want to make sure that it has a big enough screen to watch a movie comfortably. Inch screen. What about new TV? Oh, but we got more than a TV. Okay, what, what and what's next? 
Oh. Auto user is lovely if I see it. Maybe that might be a four. If you're going to use it for school purposes. That's something to think about. Do you want to make it something that's going to be used at school? We will ask the group. Are most people like in a library or watching pics on their laptop instead of doing homework? I need to walk around. I need to walk around the, the library. You can limit it to students. Is that something you guys want to do? Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah. Keeping in mind, if you limit it to students, I, I would recommend you find students. You don't. You actually don't have to. You can tell them. Imagine you are a student, but it's easier if you find students. So, all right. So, how would you word that? Fast enough to do your homework. What else? Let's, just, let's put one more thing to kind of set the stage. Not very expensive or kind of expensive. It's kind of expensive. And moderately <laughs> priced. Right, because you can get laptops for like 300 bucks these days. Yeah. Or you can pay 1000 or 2000 or 3000 We don't have enough money for an apple. You don't have enough money for an apple. Should you put a price range or no? You can. In fact, what I would recommend is after we finish fixing this wording, because this is a great start, we do start putting some of the specifics like the price range. Right, so here we're setting the stage. Right, we're getting your participant into the mindset why they'd want to do this. Now, you can do one of two things. Here you can just say, here are the specs. Do you want to start off with that? Yeah, some of you are like, no, you guys are so brilliant. Because not everyone understands that. Particularly since you are only allowed to have one person who is an IT or CS major. What I would recommend in this case would be to say something like, it's been recommended to you or something like that, that you look for a laptop with, that is 15 point, what, is it, what did you say? 15.6. Has a 15.6 inch screen, four gigabytes of memory. And remember, we need to word this in a way that a non technical person, well, at least knows what memory is. Not someone like my father who forgets what I tell him every other day. Who's very smart, by the way. He's just focused on other things. All right, so, okay, so it's been recommended, recommended to you that you look for, or um, it's been recommended to you that you look at an Acer Travelmate laptop. Yes? No? We are going to go and reword some of this. See, I'm being kind of too leading with you guys. What should we put next? What's missing? The price. So how should you word that? You want to spend around six hundred dollars. You want to spend about six hundred dollars. What else? But the other one's five seventy-five, right? So it would qualify. It would qualify. It 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 would qualify. 
So we can go back and take a look at this. And oops. Let's see, they're both 64 bit Bluetooth. Boy, they're looking awfully similar. You don't want to be that specific, particularly since the price may change. If you, if you let's say, tomorrow may change. You can say you want, you want one that's all black. Hey, I know people who, are, you know, who, people are, who, who will actually say, no, I want it all black. Or no, I want it all white. There are people like that. I don't care myself, as long as it works. You can always get a cover to change the color. So what do you think? I'm going to ask the group. You want it all black. You want it all black. Okay, you want to spend about $600 and want a computer that is all black. What else? What else are we missing? Which, by the way, all this stuff is on the screen in terms of what we're missing. But isn't that assuming they open the first one? What if they put another link that takes a whole of each one page? That is possible. What we want to do, because at this point we're not even, we haven't even gone back to see what we think they're most likely going to do. We have not created our click stream. Now we've just selected a product that we want them to find. Yeah, another reason that I didn't want to specify too much is like maybe they'll look at the first one and then look at another one and compare like what each one has. Like, oh, this one has more memory. That's entirely possible. Now what about all the other stuff that we have here? I think we should add it. You guys need to talk more. I think we should add. I think we missed the operating systems. What operating system it runs on? Oh, the operating system. That is correct. They both have Windows Seven. We did not include the weight. Now, keep in mind, we don't have to have all of this. Right? That's why we went to go look at the actual website to see what they have, to see how we can distinguish it, and did a test ourselves. Make sense? Do you want to? So, do you want to state whether that has Windows 7 instead of Windows 8? You want it with Linux. Except that's not one of our options on the site. As awesome as Linux is. All right, so in this case, what I would recommend is at this point, make just add the other requirements, and then we're going to go do another iteration. All right, so let's see what we have. Okay, it's been recommended to you to look at an Acer Travelmate laptop. You want to spend around $600 and want a computer that is all black. has a processor. I'm just going to add it. Speed of, hold on, let me just copy and paste. Make my life easy. Two point five gigahertz. Four gigabytes of memory. And a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Or more, right? 500 plus. I mean, for all the specs. Because if you find another one that has, let's say, more RAM, more right. hard drive, then yeah. uh, if it's at uh, the same price, maybe a one. Except we want everyone to try to find the same product. Right. So actually, I would take that out. Because oh. you're going to have them do research, right? Yeah. All right, so. So let's, lay, let's take a look at what we have written here. 
If you've decided that you need a new laptop, you want to make sure that it has a big enough screen to watch a movie, com movie comfortably, like 15 .6, a 15.6 inch screen, fast enough to do your homework, and moderately, <coughs> moderately priced. So I'm recommended to, uh, to you. To look at an Acer TravelMate laptop, you want to spend about $600 and want a computer that is all black, has a processor speed of 2.5 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of memory, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So what do you think of, of that? So wait, everyone has to choose the same product. Because I thought that the whole point was to do it for the website, not so much for the product. Remember, you are testing, you're, you're com coming up with a task to test an aspect of the site. And you need to keep your methodology, your environment, as, uh, your task as similar as possible between your participants. Because if you have them looking for different things, it's very hard for you to then look and say, well, this part, this is easy to use. And this is difficult to use because now you have people who are trying to do different things. Does that make sense? Because remember, the task is they're trying to find this specific product. Research can be another task. All right, so what do we think of this wording? You're looking at me like I'm waiting for you to answer. I want to know what you guys think. I'll give my answer after you guys answer. What do we think? I think it's detailed enough to lead to a specific product. It's, yes. So it's, you think it's detailed enough to lead to a specific product? I would agree with that. What else? Because the thing about the specific product is what happens if tomorrow like, it's out of stock or like, That's a very good question. I recommend that you Schedule your participants as closely together in terms of days as possible, preferably on one day, and make sure you check before you run your participants. Is that, oh, I guess I, I, I should repeat what you said. I forgot I'm being recorded. So what you were saying is what happens if the product is out of stock and let's say they take it off the website? Ah, that can be a problem. So that's why you want to make sure you check. Now, if you were actually working for this company, if they had hired you to do this, then you could tell them this is, you know, this is the, the, going to be the test product. You have to make sure that it stays up there, you know, even if you say it's out of, out of stock. So what do we think of this wording? So do we agree that we think it's detailed enough? Yes? Now, we know that because we already tested this on, on our site. Now, other than that, what do you think of the wording? Do you think a user thinks this way? In terms of how it's worded. You can use bullet points, yes. You can certainly list. OK, so let's see. You. So you want me to turn it into bullet points? You can certainly do that. You want. Let's see. I hear that is all black. Like it? Don't like it? I actually like it better also. What else? Because I would still, I would still um, change this. Want me to give you a hint?
One, is it information we need? Yes. I'm sorry? Ah, so. Needs to have Blu-ray or two. I would. <laughs> I'd like it to have Blu-ray too, except I don't think that was part of our specs. This I would put in the bullet points. Right, because if I'm a user, do I think I want to make sure I have a big enough screen to watch a movie comfortably? You know, 15.6 inches. No. But when I'm thinking about specs, let's say someone has recommended it to me, that's something that they would tell me. Make sense? Now, I want you to keep in mind, does it mean that doing it this way the first time was a momentous disaster, that it was the wrong way of doing things? No, it's not. I would say, in fact, it is the right way of doing things because, remember, this is incremental. So, we can change the order later. In fact, I would change it. Okay, now let's read through it. You've decided that you need a new laptop. You want to make sure that it has a big enough screen to watch a movie comfortably, fast enough to do your homework, and moderately priced. You can also change moderately priced to within your price range. You like moderately priced or within your price range? In your price range is probably a little more friendly for most people. In your price range. <coughs> it's been recommended to you to look at an Acer Travelmate laptop. You want a 15.6 inch screen to spend about, you know, let's change this order because it's really going to drive me up the wall. You want to spend about $600. I'll get rid of that. A 15.6 inch screen, a computer that is all black, that has a processor speed of 2.5 gigahertz, get rid of, has 4 gigabytes of memory, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. All right, now what do you think? It is better. Does this seem more like something that a user would be thinking about? Yes. Would we be able to recommend the type of laptop after we give the bullet points? Just you can so give a recommendation rather than being kind of forced to looking at them. Yes, you can also do that. So you can also, if you, don't, you instead of putting this first, you can also take this and let's see if we can move it over here. Okay, you want a computer. Actually, let me see. You want. We'll just, okay, so you want to spend all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. It's been recommended to you to look at a, an Acer Travelmate laptop that meets your needs. What do you think? Do we like it? We don't like it? I actually like it. So let's read through it one more time. And you're going to be reading through it multiple times. Remember, this is iterative. You've decided that you need a new laptop. You want to make sure that it has a big enough screen. My anal retentiveness is about to come out. You have decided you need a new laptop. You want to make sure that it has a big enough screen to watch a movie comfortably fast enough to do your homework, and in your price range. You want to spend about $600, a 15.6 inch screen, a computer that is all black, a processor speed of 2.5 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of memory, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's been recommended to you to look at an Acer Travelmate laptop that meets your needs. Do we like it? Yes. 
and Acer travel mate as the, as the make and the model, or do we have to do you bring it down for 100%? Would a user, they may or may not, um, it's possible they won't, but think about if you're talking to someone and you're recommending a particular laptop, how would you word that to them? I don't think there would be a lot of us that would say, well, you know, the, 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 ma the, the manufacturer is going to be an Acer and the model is going to be a travel mate. We have a tendency not to speak that way. We'll probably speak in a way that says, it's an Acer travel mate. Now, you are right that it is, it can be more ambiguous. But that's also something that you want to possibly test in your task. How do we talk about it? And based on how we talk about it, how easy or difficult is it to find on the site? Does that make sense? But that actually is a very good point. Now, this is missing one more thing. And it happens to be the last sentence. So I'm sitting here, okay, I want a new laptop. I, I, this is, these are the things that I want. This is what's been recommended. Yeah, now, now we've got to tell them, okay, go look for it. You can, ver you, you can word it something as simple as, what would you do to find a matching laptop on, oops, laptop on, what is this, what is this, is it? Rakuten.com. Why on earth did they change the name to that? <laughs> Are you telling them to do a search? No. What happens if you tell them to do a search? You are leading them to? To search. To search. To search. That's not the only alternative, right? They can also use the menus. So it can sometimes be tricky, but you want to make sure that you do not use the same terminology as the site, particularly if there's, there are multiple ways of doing things, such as finding a product. Does that make sense? So you guys kind of see the progression of where you go from, here's our idea of a task, and now we're going to work through this in terms of how to word it. Does that help? Okay, now remember, this is not something that's really easy. We think of it as easy. But look at how many changes we've made. Now, after you have this, now I would go back and I would do your click stream. Now, in this case, you may actually have two different click streams, which is okay. What you want to do is go ahead and put each one, have them separate so that you can just check which one they use. Make sense? Because sometimes you don't just have one. Sometimes you do. All right. Any other questions? Any other suggestions? You guys like this? Yeah. All right. So this, I'm going to go ahead and highlight it is our final product. That's our task. Although I still kind of like you're desperate for a new laptop and can't afford an Apple. Now, we only have a few minutes. Did you write this down, by the way? You got it? Okay, good. Then I'll have to save it and try to upload it. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's copyright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys all got it. All right. If you forget it, you can email that team. I'll volunteer you guys.
Okay, so just keep that in mind. There are a lot of examples of task questions in the documents that I included. So you can look at those. There's also a document from a previous semester that's in there that shows you some of the progression of some of the iterations of wording tasks. <coughs> so what I want you to do next, as quickly as poss possible, as soon as possible, work with your group on the exact wording of your tasks, because that's what I need you to turn into me next. All right? Do you think you can get that to me by Thursday? No. Tuesday. Tuesday. So get those to me by Tuesday. Keeping in mind, I am probably going to reject your first couple of iterations. I've only had one group where I've accepted their first iteration in all the time I've taught this class. Really? Seriously? Is it what? You want to be due tonight? Next Tuesday. You can turn it in tonight. I passed. All right. 